visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Eagle Runner Bill here. We're back to work on this old tractor. Here's the air cleaner. It's got this filter in here. It does not come out. What I did is I soaked this whole thing in diesel fuel for about 24 hours. And then I hit it with a pressure washer, cleaned it all out. Then I soaked it in soapy water for about 24 hours. And now it's been drying for about 24 hours. But I'm going to hook up this old hair dryer and blow hot air in there for about an hour, maybe two hours to make sure I've got all the humidity out of there. This pipe connects the air cleaner to the air intake manifold. What I want to do here is just knock off some of this rust. I don't know what kind of steel it is, but it has rust on it, but very little. So I kind of think it's like railroad steel. When it corrodes, it seals itself up and stops corroding. But I'm going to knock off the big stuff, put some primer on it, and hopefully it's not going to get any worse. It'll wait till I want to pull it apart and do a good job. Just going to take this piece of string. Put a loop on both ends so I can hang this thing up while I throw a coat of primer on it. Just hang it up from the roof there. Throw a little coat of primer on it. Hopefully it won't rust anymore. And we put the air cleaner back in and now i got to service the oil sump. And right at the top there you can see a level line. I guess it takes exactly one quart. So now we put it, put it all back together, put it in. When you're putting this clamp on, pay attention because it has a lip on the top so it doesn't fall. Make sure you get that clamp good. My battery is now at about one amp. Let me check my battery terminals and make sure I'm safe here. If I read less than an open, that means something's on or something's shorted. And I'm reading 3.8, that's M mega ohms. That's not true. That's probably reading through my body. Let me change it to ohms. Try reading it again. And it's reading dead open. If I read any small kind of ohmage, that would mean it's going through a switch. It could be a light. It could be a motor. But anyways, you also got to test your meter. Open and close. Meter's good. Well, I think we're safe to put that battery in. We'll see you at the next video.